it's definitely been a minute since I've made a video and I've been watching so much YouTube recently that I figured I should just get back on the horse and make my own video. So today I am bringing you a natural beauty video. I have just got some new products from doTERRA that I am trying out. I have a facial cleanser and I also got my lavender oil. I'm really excited to try this out. Okay, so step one, hot wet cloth, put it on your face. I'm just gonna get my face wet. Okay, a little bit on the neck. I'm gonna take my doTERRA facial cleanser and do just like a pea sized drop, I don't need too much. I'm gonna get it in my hands, put it on. This one has um, <laughs> peppermint and tea tree essential oils in it. So it's like kind of tingly on my skin, which I find so satisfying. As I said, I have dry skin and it's not problematic. I just really love that feeling when it's like tingly and it's like really, you can feel it like really cleaning your pores. Yes. I am a beauty expert. Okay. <laughs> Step two, I have a little exfoliating sponge that I bought from Chapters Indigo. Um, it came with two of these guys and then a larger one for your body. And I don't know, I think it's some kind of natural or synthetic sponge. Anyway, it's going to, it was like $5 on sale. So I think this is gonna last me a while. I think this is good. I like having things that last a while that I can just, throw in the wash and clean and reuse a bunch instead of um, like using one use pads or anything like that. So I'm just gonna get my, I hope this is all making sense. <laughs> I'm just making it up as I go. Okay, so I got my sponge, it's a little bit wet. I'm just gonna leave my cleanser on, do a bit of an exfoliation. Try not to drench my entire face. For me, my like uh, problem zones are my chin, if I do get six and then my forehead here and then I just like to do it give a nice exfoliation around my nose nothing too crazy I think that's it I think you just cleanse until you feel satisfied right that's how it's supposed to work I don't know if you're a beauty expert or an esthetician you just let me know in the comments okay so step one and two are done cleansing exfoliation just gonna get this cleanser off my face towel, just wipe it off. Um, I actually did, I used to be a massage therapist, so I did actually used to do facials in a spa, so I do kind of know what I'm doing. This is the exciting part. So, I'm just gonna take my clay. I actually got this in a river on Vancouver Island, just north of um, Courtney. So, this is all natural. It didn't come packaged, it just came straight from the creek. Um, it's, I guess it's kind of like a gray green color. I don't know the exact name. Oh no, so sad, it's falling down. Okay, hair is somewhat saved. But anyway, this is just a really nice light clay. Um, I do love to do a mask once a week with this, um, just because it kind of tightens up my pores and makes me feel like I get a really good clean in my uh, on my skin. And, I don't know, it just feels so fresh and fancy after, so let's do this. So I'm just gonna get this a little bit wet, and I'm gonna get my hand a little bit wet as well. And then basically I take it, like this, and I just rub it off on my fingers, and then I apply it to my face, like that. It's like you're painting your face. Um, of course, too, if you have a mortar and pestle, and you have dry clay like this, you could just crush it up. Or if you've bought the powdered clay from the store, like bentonite or I don't know, any kind of those European clays, you could just mix it up in a bowl. Maybe add some honey if you want some extra hydration. But I'm just gonna do it like this. Um, you can also just kind of apply it like that. But this still has like rocks and sticks in it, so it can be a little bit scratchy. But just still so amazing. A little extra exfoliation, why not? Okay, I'm gonna do this in here because it's really hard to look at my phone at the same time. But yeah, I love this clay. I just love that it's it's natural and that it comes straight from the earth and that I could just 
that I just went down to the creek and found it. I love, I love foraging for, um, for food and my natural health and beauty supplies. It's just so lovely when it's local, don't you think? Okay. You can also, if you feel like it, if you're gonna have a bath or a shower, you can also do um, your neck and your decollete as well. Um, and then just rinse it off in the shower. This does get quite messy. So feel free to do that. And then I'm just gonna leave this on till it dries. If you have um, very oily skin or very acne prone skin, I wouldn't leave it on any longer um, than when it's fully dried. Like this will go a nice light gray or green color. I wouldn't leave it on any longer because it can really dry out the skin. Um, and that can actually cause your skin to create more sebum and might create more acne. So just leave it on until it's dry and then you can just wash it right off. I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit longer and I'm gonna go label my oil, essential oil bottles. Come with me, it'll be fun. Okay, let's label some bottles. too like really close to my pores like it's just it's getting in there it really really cleans out your skin which is great anyway this is ready to take off so I'm just gonna wet my cloth again with some hot water and start taking this off it just oh, I love doing these clay masks and your skin just feels so smooth after it's one of my favorite beauty rituals actually it's probably my only beauty ritual <laughs> let's be honest okay as well I would just do um, my cedarwood oil this feels so so nice on my skin I usually do two to three drops and then I just um, moisturize my face and then my neck and my chest as well apparently for a lot of these oils you are supposed to dilute it with a carrier oil however I found cedarwood to be very gentle on my skin I've tried out a couple carrier oils and it leaves my skin a bit bumpy afterwards. So for me, cedarwood oil works perfectly fine on its own. So that's my go-to. I use that every single day. And it's especially nice in the evenings when you especially like put it on your forehead. It's just very grounding and relaxing. So I really, really, really love that oil. Uh, today though, I am going to do my lavender oil, which is amazing for your skin. And I'm just gonna do a couple drops of this fractionated coconut carrier oil. So I'm just gonna try two small drops of the fractionated coconut oil and then one small drop of the lavender. Oh, it just smells so, so, so nice. As well, um, the essential oils are really personal to you. I know for a lot of people, the lavender oil can give some people a headache or it's just not, it's just a bit too much. Um, I feel that way about sandalwood oil, to be honest, which I thought I would really like it because it's um, a wood oil, but I only use it in really, really small amounts, whereas I can use this I can just drench myself in this, to be honest, cedarwood oil. I just love it. If you're from the Rockies, you probably get where I'm coming from because cedar is just such a beautiful smell, especially in the winter when you have a wood burning fire or in the summer when you have like a summer campfire. So this one is just really special to me. This is the one I take traveling. I usually just dab a couple drops on my um, wrists and then just rub it between my palms and put it up on my nose and take a deep inhale. And this really grounds me when I'm about to take a flight or a really long bus ride or a train ride. 
So yeah, the oils are very, very personal, but they have become such a huge part of my healthcare regime and now also my beauty regime. The lighting in my bathroom, I realized just playing back the videos wasn't amazing, um, but you can see now my skin. Uh, it's not shiny anymore, even though I just uh, did the mask and moisturize it. And I think that the lavender and just two drops of coconut oil are the perfect amount. And my skin doesn't feel excessively oily after. Um, it just feels really, really clean and glowy, but matte. Does that make sense? Anyway, I really like it. And I also wanted to make use of this wonderful lighting in my new room. So. Yes, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you all very soon. Have a beautiful day.